Hey guys, it's me, your favorite fashion vixen, Emmerich, aka Momo, and welcome to another episode of Hot or Not. So today we're going to be reviewing the fashion stylings of Mr. Michael Fassbender. First up we have ooh, a cute little suit and he's sat kind of cross-legged with a cigarette and a match looking like a big old daddy and he looks cute. I really like him with you know his like facial hair. As soon as he grows a beard I'm like yes I fully support this man. I really like the cut of this suit. It makes him look you know broad and muscular. I really enjoy all of it. Maybe I would have gone for just you know an open collar but that's just because I don't like ties. Girl they suffocate me. But all in all, this look is hot. Up next we have, oh, I don't know who told you that this was okay, but they lied. Like, <laughs> this suit is really not good. The color is so eh that it just makes him look like someone just wrapped him in a load of fabric and threw him out of a doorway. The pants are super baggy. This does not fit his body and was most likely not made for it. Also, like not everyone can be a blonde and uh, you are one of those people. For some reason, it makes your hairline look like it's trying to escape. Like your hairline looks like it's about to go with Elon Musk off to Mars or something. I am not into it. And also, girl, have you been smoking a lot? Because your teeth look yellow as fuck. Uh-uh, not hot. Up oh, now, nah. oh. Oh, girl, what is that? This is some BDE, big daddy goddamn. This is, this is enticing, enthralling and very, Powerful, let's say powerful. He's man spreading the house down and he's really giving us an eyeful. I love this. I really like how moody the picture is. Everything's very dark. He looks very angry. He looks like he needs a, some scotch and a, a cigar or something. I like the fact that he's gone with a blazer and trousers, but then he hasn't worn a shirt underneath. But he's got this little like tuft of chest hair going on. I really like the cut of everything. Everything looks right. He's got some ropes around his leg. Like, you know, he's just been tied up. This is really hot. And we're back to terrible fashion. Great, that was quick. What is this? God damn. This green tinged camel with the actual camel top paired with a trench coat in green, but they're all slightly different tones and slightly different off tones of green and they really, really don't go well together. The cut of everything is like billowy, like nothing fits your body. And then you're sat on a red chair. I don't like anything apart from the green in the coat goes really nice with the green in your eyes. I'll give you that point. But the rest of this outfit is really distorted, discombobulated and all in all disgraceful not hot. Up next we have, oh, he's doing his Magneto pose. He's like, come give me money pose. I really like him in a trench coat and I think he layers things very well. Uh, I really like the kind of denim that's underneath the other denim trench coat, but they're slightly different shades. And I think this has been curated quite nicely. It is a very powerful outfit. It does make him look grand and important and expensive. And that is exactly what he was going for. So all in all, this is hot. We have a picture of James McAvoy and Mr. Michael Fassbender at another X-Men premiere. The dynamic duo back again. I like it. I like the suit. Uh, I think it fits him really well. I really like the cut. I like the color. It doesn't drain him out. I like the shirt he's paired with it. The tie is fine. All in all, this is a really cute look. The cut of James's suit is again, slightly too long for such a, you know, petite gentleman. Um, he really does need to work on that tailoring. I'm not a fan of this kind of off blue shirt with this blue jacket. It kind of misses the mark for me. So all in all, I'm gonna say, Michael is hot, but James is not. And finally, oh, he looks like a different person here. I mean, I know he's shaved, but goddamn, he's turned into full Jude Law and I love it. This outfit is excellent. I really like the way he's paired different tones of gray underneath the trench coat. I like the way the scarf matches the cardigan, matches the trousers. I think he's really 
mastered pairing things. I think the shirt looks great with it, and I think that when he takes it off, it's gonna be two different, but two very complete looks. And that's what you want. You wanna be able to transition from outside to inside and still look as good, if not better. And I'm not even mad that you're smoking, because although it kills you, it looks cute in this picture. So all in all, I'm gonna say it's hot. Okay guys, now it's time for <laughs> just the tip. So today's tip is about trench coats. You know, they can really make you look classy and sophisticated and they can be beautiful, but don't get trapped into always wearing a camel trench coat. You can wear all types of colors. You can wear dark greens, you can wear blacks, you could even get away with a nice red. Go wild, go adventurous, as long as the trench coat nips you in slightly at the middle and doesn't go too far down that it makes you look like you have baby legs, you can wear any of them and I think you'll look beautiful. Send me photos of you in your trench coat guys and send me a trench coat. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed reviewing the fashion stylings of Mr. Michael Fassbender. If you haven't seen our previous video where we take a look at Mr. James McAvoy, make sure to check it out. It's linked in the description box down below and so is everything else we do. Until next time, don't forget to highlight and moisturize. Bye guys!